What happens when two powerful nations unite to tackle one of the most pressing environmental challenges? Let's dive into the heart of Saudi Arabia's water crisis and the massive seawater desalination project with China that has sparked both excitement and concern across the globe. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. Please subscribe, like and comment to boost our videos. Now, let's begin. The U.S. is watching closely, but why? What's the cause for concern? Saudi Arabia, a land where drought rules, has faced tremendous water constraints. But with China's support and a massive investment of $650 million, they've completed the world's largest seawater desalination project, a solution that now provides drinking water to nearly 3 million people. It's a victory, but what does it mean for global alliances and future repercussions? Think about it. A desert nation like Saudi Arabia, rich in oil but parched in water, overcoming a challenge that many considered insurmountable. How did they achieve it? What impact will it have on the local population? A newfound hope is spreading across the nation, but questions still remain about the root of Saudi Arabia's water shortage. Despite the successful completion of this project, the country's water problems aren't entirely solved. Farming, lifestyle, and the harsh environment all play a part. What do you think are the underlying issues that still need addressing? In 2013, a dry spell cost the Saudi economy $7.04 billion. What solutions could prevent such losses in the future? Let's consider the international collaborations that Saudi Arabia sought for this vital project. Many nations were eager, some were skeptical, and demands were high. What made China the ideal partner? What does this partnership signify in the global stage? Set to be completed in 2023, the Jubail 3 Aquwater desalination plant boasts cutting-edge technology. But did you know that environmental challenges also played a significant role? How did China comply with Saudi Arabia's environmental protection standards? What innovations were made to reduce energy use and pollution? Saudi Arabia's water issue goes beyond just supply. Statistics show that over 600 million cubic meters of wastewater are produced annually, but only 20 is reused. How can technology and collaborations help to tap into this wasted resource? Solar energy in Saudi Arabia holds immense potential, with over nine hours of average daily sunshine. How is the country leveraging this power for water delivery and desalination? Could this renewable energy be a game changer? Water scarcity is not only a crisis faced by Saudi Arabia, but is a global concern affecting billions of people around the world. Understanding this worldwide issue is key to appreciating the significant strides taken by the partnership between China and Saudi Arabia. In many African countries, the scarcity of clean water is a life or death matter. For instance, in Kenya, prolonged droughts have severely depleted water resources, affecting both urban populations and rural farmers. Kenya's innovative approach of using solar-powered water pumps and community education on water conservation has shown promising results. Brazil's water scarcity issues are deeply connected to deforestation in the Amazon. The destruction of the rainforest has disrupted the natural water cycle, causing severe droughts in urban areas. Brazil has initiated reforestation projects and advanced irrigation techniques to mitigate these challenges. Saudi Arabia's massive seawater desalination project with China is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to technological innovations in water desalination. The Jubail 3 Ak water desalination plant utilizes reverse osmosis, a method that pushes seawater through membranes to separate salt and other impurities. This technology has been continually refined, making it more energy efficient and cost-effective, while desalination provides a vital solution to water scarcity. It also raises environmental concerns. Desalination produces a byproduct known as brine, a concentrated salt solution. Proper disposal or utilization of brine is essential to minimize environmental damage. Research into using brine in aquaculture and industrial applications is underway. Traditional desalination methods consume significant amounts of energy. 
renewable energy sources like solar and wind power are increasingly being integrated into desalination plants to reduce their carbon footprint. The collaboration between Saudi Arabia and China on the Jubail 3 Act water desalination project has broad political and economic implications. China's involvement in the project aligns with its Belt and Road Initiative, seeking to expand its global influence through infrastructure investment. The collaboration may strengthen ties between China and Saudi Arabia, possibly influencing regional politics. The $650 million investment not only addresses Saudi Arabia's water crisis, but also creates jobs, stimulates the local economy, and opens opportunities for further technological collaborations. Effective water management requires comprehensive planning and execution. Implementing a fair yet incentivizing water pricing strategy encourages responsible water usage. Saudi Arabia's approach of charging for excessive water usage beyond a certain limit is an example of this strategy, an example of this strategy in action. Community education on water conservation can play a vital role in reducing wastage. Collaborative programs between governments, NGOs, and local communities have shown success in various regions around the world. Saudi Arabia's arid climate and lack of natural rivers have made water scarcity a historic challenge. Historically, traditional methods such as afflage, ancient canals, were used to distribute scarce water resources for agriculture and drinking. Understanding these ancient solutions can provide insights into sustainable water management practices. As the population and industrial activities grew, the demand for water soared, leading to the depletion of groundwater resources. The nation's shift towards desalination and modern water management strategies reflects an evolution in addressing this age, old challenge. Managing water resources is paramount for any nation. What are the long-term solutions that the Saudi government is adopting? How can cooperation between the corporate community and government lead to sustainable management and development of water resources? In conclusion, China and Saudi Arabia's collaboration offers a promising solution to Saudi Arabia's water scarcity issue. But the journey has only just begun. Is cooperation enough or does the solution lie in a combined effort from all sides? As we look to the future, the success of this project could lay a strong foundation for not only Saudi Arabia, but the rest of the world. If this story intrigues you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.